Since there aren't enough government-run mental hospitals in India to treat the mentally ill, many community-based initiatives have arisen to fill the void. One of them is the Schizophrenia Awareness Association in Pune, which treats dozens of patients on a long-term basis. Hi. Ah, 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 Neha. Welcome, welcome. We have uh, dance therapy, we have uh, music therapy, we have art-based therapy, gardening therapy, kitchen uh, activities. Lots of, we have some uh, 21, 22 activities. And they're all sort of geared towards what someone would towards, do every towards, day. Towards uh, helping them in uh, their recovery. Mr. Bakshi is the president of SAA. He got involved years ago when he first brought his daughter in for treatment. Well, the obvious reason why I started volunteering for uh, this kind of uh, work is uh, that I am a caregiver of a, a daughter. I wanted to be a good caregiver and uh, when the, uh, sh she became ill and we came to know about it, then my desire was to learn uh, maximum about this illness and to help her as best as I could. It was devastating for us, this uh, experience is uh, totally life was shattered. SAA treats an equal number of men and women. We sat down with some of the female patients to speak with them about their experiences. What are the challenges being a mentally ill woman? How do you deal with that stigma? I mean, I didn't know what schizophrenia was. The first person who told me this said, you have schizophrenia. He right on my face and I didn't know what to say. I said, what is schizophrenia? How, how do I, I didn't know how to react basically, you know. While the stigma of mental health is likely to persist in Indian society, organizations like this one are a reason to be hopeful. We must uh, look after her in her uh, happiness. We should share her in her sorrow. We should be sharing it. All her small, small wishes we must uh, fulfill. At least I try my best to do that for her. <laughs> 